I do too. That's good. That's good. Hope we didn't work. Salute the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mayor Roll Call, please. Mr. Bo? Here. Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mr. Farinell? Here. Mr. Gene Hopkins? Here. Mrs. Miller? Here. Mr. Panisi? Here. Mr. Cecilberg? Here. Mr. Cassio? Here. Mr. Chuck? Here. In accordance with the terms of the Sunshine Law, adequate notice of this meeting was posted in all school buildings, the administration building, borough clerk's office, police headquarters, public library, four newspapers, and tap into on January 7, 2021. Please be advised there is no smoking on school grounds inside or out at any time. Please sign up to all electronic devices and pursuant to district policy 0167. Each statement made by a participant shall be limited to three minutes duration and no participant may speak more than once at the same topic. Uh, Superintendent's report, Dr. Chapman, please. Thank you, Mr. Chapman. Last night, South Plainville High School chorus and bands held their holiday concert. It was absolutely wonderful. That means that this is my favorite board meeting of the entire year. Tonight, our South Plainfield jazz band and chorus will be performing. Our jazz band under the direction of Mr. Bill Howell and our chorus under the direction of Dr. Don, uh, Donna Kregler will be performing this evening and I can't wait. Whenever you're ready, Dr. Kregler. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
chair and have a chair in the middle. Pick a chair and a chair. What you like? Chair and like a chair. Ah, rather little. Sorry. As you can see, Joe playing. I'm gonna go sing. <laughs> I'm sure you will all recognize this tune, and I encourage you all to sing along with us. Uh, shortly, so thank you so much for allowing us to perform for you guys tonight. We always love it. 
And uh, there's the chamber part. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you wherever you are. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Great job. We'll be at the elementary schools this coming week, and we'll do, be doing a little caroling uh, around the hallways here on Thursday as well. So feel free to go on Tiger TV. Oh, on Tiger TV. Too. Yeah, Tiger TV. Excellent. Love it. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Great job. And now for the jazz band. All right. If you're in jazz band, come on down. Check out my website. I go up. Uh, you want to have a couple of things? Yeah, you can see it. I 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 can see it. I'll just take one moment while we get the jam
Okay, one last tune for you. We'll play uh, Gospel John. Uh, it's also going to feature uh, Catherine Leno on uh, Trump. Hey.
Uh, at this point in time, we're going to go into executive session for probably about to 20 minutes or so. Um, for to discuss uh, attorney-client privilege and personnel, um, actions will be taken. So move. Second. 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 Uh, second. Mr. Both. Yes. Mrs. Boyle. Yes. Mr. Baranella. Yes. Mr. Giannakis. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Panisi. Yes. Mr. Susselberg. Yes. Mr. Cassio. Yes. Mr. Trapp. Yes. Call the meeting back to order. Can I roll call, please? Mr. Both? Here. Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mr. Farinella? Here. Mr. Giannakis? Here. Mrs. Miller? Here. Mr. Panisi? Here. Mr. Sesselberg? Here. Mr. Cassio? Here. Mr. Chapman? Here. Uh, I want to pick up um, in the uh, public discussion is uh, something we had going on this committee as a whole was the, uh, the handling of the press box. And uh, a great recommendation came in for how to handle um, the um, uh, acknowledgement of the people who we said we were going to do that for. And it actually came from uh, Mr. Wiggins' idea. And it's a great idea. Um, he said, our press box has three rooms. So um, it was uh, an idea that I think is a great idea. I want to throw it out to uh, you guys out here tonight to uh, uh, decide to we'll give, uh, dedicate one of each of the three rooms to one of the to each of the three um, people who we uh, said that we were going to do it for. So any discussion on that? Sounds good. Discussion. Yes, yeah, what? Yes. Um, I had my notes to ask in, in the new year that we need to continue that. That vote was 5-4 to name the press box. Mm -hmm. um, there were different ideas. And um, there was one letter that was received that was anonymous. We, since when do we accept anonymous letters from people? But anyway, yes, I think we need to continue and uh, move on in the new year. What do you mean by that? Yeah. What do you mean, what do I mean? What do you mean by continue and move on in the new year? Oh, to name the press box. Oh, right. Well, we'll take care of that tonight. Sure? I'm, I'm good with doing that, Doug. And if you need a motion, I'll be glad to make a motion to put it on the agenda. Well, we'll do that in, you know, when we open up the next year. Oh, okay. I just thought, okay. okay. Very good. Yep. No, uh, I'm good with that. Any other discussion? I'd like to recommend, if we're going to do that, um, that the booth that Mr. Cochran announces out of is, is the one that's named under uh, his name. Oh, sure. I think that would be a, a given. I think everybody okay. would feel that same way. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what this said. Tommy suggested that we make, that make sure that the middle booth where Mr. Cochran announces from is the one that's dedicated in his name. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that everybody would feel that same way. Yes, yeah, agreed. So. Mr. Susselberg? Yeah, one well, more on this topic, on, uh, side, kind of a sidebar. We did approve um, the renaming of the administration building to Leonard Tobias. I was just wondering what the plans are for the plaque and ceremony because I have gotten some calls from people who want to be there. Uh, we are expecting the plaque to be shipped out on the 23rd, and once we receive it, I will discuss with Dr. Lechak, and we will set up a, uh, a day for a ceremony and, uh, and a dedication. Thank you. Any good discussion on this item? All right. Uh, moving along to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Mr. Roll call, please. <coughs> Mr. Roll? Yes. Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mr. Farinella? Yes. Mr. Giannakis? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Sesselberg? Yes. Mr. Cassia? Yes. Mr. Chad? Yes. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Being adjourned. We're going to roll right into the uh, public meeting in just one second.
Okay, we're going to move right into the um, uh, public meeting here, uh, and we're going to go to agenda additions uh, or deletions, and I would like to uh, make a motion to have it uh, added to the agenda. We'll put it after um, finance, we'll call it uh, public relations, and it'll be a motion to approve the naming of the press box located at Joe's Field as follows, left section for Mike English, middle section for uh, Bill Cochran, and the right section for the past, present, and future student athletes of South Mayfield. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All right, we'll add that in um, after comments. You a, was that a motion to add? Yeah. Okay, so you have a vote on the motion to add. We, oh, can I get a roll call, please? Sorry. Mr. Both? Yes. Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mr. Farinella? Yes. Mr. Giannakis? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Sesselberg? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chapman? Yes. Uh, comments from the public on any of tonight's proposed resolutions? Seeing none. <coughs> Moving along. Resolution to approve uh, prior to work minutes. Motion. Second. Take a second. 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 Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Both? Yes. Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mr. Farinella? Yes. Mr. Giannakis? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Sesselberg? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chapman? Yes. Moving along, Superintendent Report, Dr. Lee Chen. Thank you, Mr. Chapman. Ms. Maleska, you have the presentation of the HIV self assessment. I do, thank you. Um, every year, district administration, along with um, school uh, anti bullying specialists, review their procedures to ensure that we're in compliance with state regulations. This is called the HIV self-assessment. There are categories under which we needed to grade ourselves. I'm going to read the categories and then the scores for each of the schools. The first category are effective HIV programs and approaches or initiatives within the school. That's a maximum of 15 points. The next how effectively we train on the Board of Ed approved HIV policy, maximum score is a nine. Other staff instruction and training programs, so that would be anyone who's contracted in, the trainings that we provide for them, which we do or verify with vendors that they do, maximum score is a 15. Curriculum and instruction on HIV and related information and skills, how we address that through lessons and other remedial programs in the district. Um, staffing for HIV personnel, I'm sorry, maximum score for that is a nine. School level reporting procedures, maximum score is a six. HIV investigative procedures, maximum score of 12. And then also overall HIV reporting with a maximum score of six. So the total score available is 78, and I'm just going to read each school's self-assessment score. Once these are certified, they'll also be posted on the district website. The high school had a score of 70. The middle school had a score of 70. Grand school, a score of 74. Franklin School, Franklin School, 76, Kennedy School, 72, Riley School, 70, and Roosevelt School, 76. Um, these scores are used to evaluate the effectiveness of our programming. So we look at these ongoing throughout the course of the year in time for our next HIV self-assessment. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Boston. This is the last meeting of 2021, and this marks the transition into the new year for all of us, and a change here on the board. Vice President Tom Cassio would like to say a few words in recognition of Board President Doug Chapman for his service for the past six years serving as a board member. Mr. Cassio. Thank you, Mr. Chapman. You know, That's right, no. <laughs> I would be nice. You know, Dr. Leach, I guess, is here today to present this plaque to Mr. Chapman. I jotted down a couple of things that just came into my mind. 
you know, I'm not going to get emotional and, and talk about, uh, you know, our friend, you know, our friendship is one thing. This is boy related, and I'll tell you a couple of things that I came to mind um, over the last four years, five years I've been on board. <clears throat> we navigated the pandemic the last few years, Mr. Chapman's president. Together, we, we were getting through this. We proposed a referendum. The town trusted us to get this done. They awarded us the money. We got the projects done under budget and on time. We gave back a million dollars to the borough, to the borough of taxpayer money. So other things. Mr. Chapman and his, his negotiating team have negotiated multiple contracts over the last few years in record time. It's never been done in this district. That, that's kudos to their, their professionalism, uh, cooperation, and uh, knowledge of what they were involved in. I couldn't be involved in it due to conflicts. Mr. Chapman and his staff were amazing what they did. And kudos. Um, I don't mean to ramble. What else? This past year, we got a, uh, our insurance uh, proposal. It's going to be an increase of $2 million. We're going to come up with $2 million. We're going to have to pay for staff. You know, we're going to have to get services. What are we going to do? Mr. Chapman, his expertise in finance, says, why don't we look into doing self-funding, self-funding insurance in this district? Alex and, and his crew, uh, Murat and, and our broker, looked into it. Said it's an option of district, uh, districts are doing it. We put a plan in place. As of today, we are five months into into the fiscal year. It starts July first. Uh, we are six hundred thousand dollars on the budget. We're projected to be one point two million dollars on the budget by the end of the year. These are things that people don't know on the outside. That they don't see do behind the scenes. And with Mr. Chapman's guidance and, and the rest of us on the board here, uh, these are important aspects that we like to, that I want you to know what his involvement was. Uh, food service, a few years back we were guaranteed from our food service companies, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year guarantee. Mr. Chapman comes in, I remember sitting in the meeting, because that's how accepted. We negotiated a $150,000 guarantee that year. Fuck, this uh, subsequent years, the last two years, difference provider, we guarantee guarantees $100,000 each year. They came in and tried to negotiate, we wouldn't budge. Doug said, don't budge. They'll come. They'll do it. They did it. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm not out of board with the rest. Doug, your knowledge is, is beyond what anybody can expect up here, and, and it will be missed. You know, um, I've learned a lot. I know a lot of us on this board have. Um, we all up here bring a distinct trait somewhat to, to the board, and it, it's, it's refreshing, because we don't have finance expertise, we don't have superintendent expertise, you know, we have a lawyer, we, we have, you know, a, a food service guy, we have, you know, all these different aspects we bring to the, to the, the table, make us whole, and make us what we are, we, we're moving in the right direction, we're going to miss you, Doug, Devon, no offense, a lot to learn, we're going to bring in, don't worry about it, we gave you speed, all right, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be crazy, but we got it, all right, Doug, my friend. Thanks, Tommy. You're a good liar. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to save my comments until the end. Okay. So, uh, moving along. Oh, are you done or? No, no, one more. Okay. Mr. Chapman, what can I say other than thank you for all that you have done for the students and residents of South Plainfield? I don't think anyone in this town or in the district knows the amount of time and effort you put into your position here on the board. Your dedication to always do what was best for the students always do what was honest and fair, always keep the taxpayers in mind for every financial decision, and we have all benefited from your service as a board member. For me, as a superintendent, you have been a wonderful colleague, ally, and confidant. 
but over the years, you have grown to be a dear friend. Thank you for helping me grow into a better leader and a better person. Thank you. You're welcome. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Both? Yes. Mrs. Boyle? Um, on page three, uh, under the, this is all part of, of the uh, student curriculum, correct? Uh, uh, yeah, the, curriculum. Yeah, uh, revised, um, um, the revised strategic plan. Is that part of this or is that yes. separate? Okay, I'm abstaining on that. I have tried 10 times to get into that. I keep taking screenshots. I cannot get in. I got in on a laptop, but because of the length of it, I had to go back and look at my tablet, which I still couldn't get into. Okay, did anybody else have that problem? No, okay. Anybody else try? Okay. I read, Ms. Boyle, did you not go to the uh, BA's office and look at it yourself? No, I looked at the whole strategic plan. Right. Well, that, that was encompassing pages and pages. And I said I would go back and look at the, um, the revised section on my tablet, which I could not do. Yes, you're correct. Mm -hmm. It was not my laptop. But and it would have taken multiple, multiple hours to look through the entire strategic plan. I just needed the upgrade. How many pages was that? <coughs> what? The upgraded sections were bolded. There wasn't. There weren't many upgraded uh, areas. The only thing that was added that was new, that was cumbersome, was not a section for the strategic plan. It was an Excel sheet that is actually uh, noted in the Friday packet as something that would be uploaded on the website as a form for the public, so that they could uh, follow along with the timeline and uh, just notice what we what we had accomplished and where we are moving forward. It's not part of the plan. The other portions are just bolded sections of the strategic plan, um, just noted on certain pages. Yes, we saw the bolded areas, but didn't realize that the bolded areas were the separate pieces. We thought it was all, all rolled into one, into the entire strategic plan. Okay. Any other discussion? Negative all bolded? Mr. Farinella? Yes. Mr. Giannakis? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Sesselberg? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chet? Yes. yes. Moving on to policy. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Roll vote, please. Mr. Both? Yes. Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mr. Farinella? Yes. Mr. Giannakis? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Sesselberg? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chapman? Yes. Moving on to personnel. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Mr. Mr. Panisi? Yeah, I just uh, want to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate Mr. Deal on his uh, next uh, life. Uh, I, I've known Mr. Deal for, I don't know how long, 30-some uh, um, years because he actually before he became a teacher, he used to do the fundraising, and I was an advisor in Allen, and that's where I got to know him. And over the years, you know, you know, he was a, a coach, a teacher, an administrator, and uh, I just want to wish him the, the very best, uh, you know, in, in his next uh, next part of his life. That's all. Okay. And discussion, Ms. Boyd. Yes, I want to thank um, Mr. Gill for all his years of service. Um, to the school district for all his outstanding contributions as a leader, a mentor, to his staff, and to the children of this district. I commend him, and he will be missed by multitudes of people. Also, um, congratulations to Mr. Deal and Mr. Parisi on the Franklin School concert the other evening. It was amazing to watch what these young children have learned. So, thank you for that. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Both? Yes. Mrs. Boyle? Um, abstain on 
page nine, number one at the top. Is that under number 12, letter E? Yeah. Yes, correct. All right, all right thank you. Uh, Mr. Farinello? Yes. Mr. Ginotti? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Sesselberg? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chad? Yes. Moving on to finance. So moved. Second. And discussion. Roll call, please. Vote. Mr. Boat? Yes. Mrs. Boyle? Abstaining on the attorney's bills list with anything to do with myself. Mr. Farinella? Yes. Mr. Giannakis? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Sesselberg? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chapman? Yes. Uh, moving along to public relations. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? I'm not going That was the end of the resolution. Yeah. Roll call, please. Mr. Both? Yes. Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mr. Farinella? Yes. Mr. Giannakis? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chat? Or Mr. Sesselberg, sorry. Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chat? Yes. Any public comments on any items? Seeing none. Uh, board member comments? Yes. Mr. Sesselberg. Thank you, Mr. Chapman, and uh, thank you, Doug, for your leadership through normal times and turbulent times of the past two years. Uh, you've helped us achieve great things that made our district stronger and steady, and going forward, the students, staff, have the sound leadership and full of the resources that they need to move forward. And uh, on that, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to all, and uh, See you next year. That's what I thought he was going to say. Uh, Mrs. Um, I just wanted to congratulate the high school jazz band, Chamber Fire. I think they did a spectacular job tonight. And I, and Black and Noreen, uh, think this is one of my favorite of all time meetings when we had this meeting and, and the high school um, students perform for us. Um, they're also talented. Um, I also just want to congratulate Bob Deal on his um, retirement and wish him a lot of good luck, joy, happiness, and health in his retirement, and thank him for all the years of service for the students of South Plainfield. I've known him not as long as Pio has, but for about 19 years now. So, um, and I know he always has um, the children um, in mind when he makes any of his decisions, and he's really helped many, many of our students um, throughout the year, so he will be missed, and um, I do wish him lots of luck in his retirement, and um, I want to wish everybody happy holidays and a happy, healthy new year, and hopefully things will be a little bit better than they were the past two years, and uh, just want to, um, you know, congratulate you on all you've done in your uh, six years on the board. It's not an easy job that we do up here. We don't get paid for it. People don't realize the decisions we have to make and not make, and you know, you're kind of, you know, blank if you do, and blank if you don't, um, unfortunately, but that's the way it is up here. So it's not an easy job that we have. So um, congratulations on, on your prior years here. Thank you. Mr. Giannakis. Uh, very much, I echo what everybody else said. Congratulations to Mr. Deal uh, and Ms. Yeto's chair and competitions. Thank you for always coming to them. Um, Doug, uh, you know, I've said it before, you will be greatly missed uh, up at the top here. You, you bring tremendous leadership and an unbelievable financial knowledge to this board. The amount of money that you have saved us and the amount of um, new procedures and things that you've put into or helped put into place, just incredible. And, and I know a lot of people don't see it and don't know it, but the things that you've been able to accomplish are just really incredible. And, and honestly, I think you've made us all better board members. Thank you for that. And you've done a great job up there. So thank you. We'll be greatly missed. And I look forward to seeing you back here next year, hopefully. God will. Happy, safe, healthy holidays to everybody. We're going to be celebrating. Enjoy it. Happy New Year. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I hope. Uh, 
I don't, I don't even think, Tony, did you cry for me? I did not cry. Because she did cry, but I'm not going to lie to you. She, she did cry when a principal retired. <laughs> Wait, oh, 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 oh. Hold on. He didn't retire. He went far, far away. So that's still here. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a great show tonight with the, uh, the choir. I, I mean, I, I really enjoy it. The, the jazz band uh, this time. They did a fantastic, fantastic job. Um, and, 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 and Doug, you know, I, I'm echoing the same thing. You know, I, I've worked with you, uh, I, I guess it's been four years. Um, and um, they, you know, people don't, don't realize the, the, the amount of money you save, but what they don't realize is by saving that money, we were able to give it back to the students and not only taxpayers, but also the students and the buildings and everything. So it wasn't just about saving the money, but it was able to relocate, reallocate that money to things that affected the students and made it well. And, and, and you know, and, um, and you are in finance and that part, I mean, and your leadership and, and you listen, you know, some people don't think you, you listen, but you absolutely do and, and I appreciate you know, when you do call on us for our, whatever expertise we have, you know, to get information from us, and uh, you're truly going to be missed here. And um, I, I learned a lot from, from you on, on finance, and even though I was a superintendent, it's still, you know, I still left it up to my BA. <laughs> but uh, I, it, it, was, it was really tremendous. And, uh, you know, I, I, I look forward to uh, just saying, uh, have a have a good short vacation. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. <laughs> the other board member comments. Mrs. Boyle. Yes. Um, Mitten Shaw, teacher, mentor from all of UN. Congratulations on placing second at the Rutgers competition. You have always been there for the students, always supporting them, and great job. Also, the Grand School Tuskegee Airmen presentation was so informative, it was great. Paul Ladario, thank you for always being available to provide musical accompaniments in our various concerts for our students. And thank you always for your support. Throughout the state of New Jersey and in South Plainfield, it's been very hard to hire and keep substitutes. We discussed this in legislation last week. Many districts are paying $250 per day. I think that this is a critical issue where teachers are covering other classes. And so hopefully there will be a bill coming out on ways to um, be able to have additional substitute teachers. Also, um, I attended um, a convention today, um, a, a conference, and it was on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Excellent presentation, very informative on ways for school districts to apply these three issues. Also, thank you to the, um, the jazz band, and the chamber choir for coming to our board meeting as you do every year to sing, to play, and you are so talented. It was you did a beautiful job even with your masks on. Um, condolences to the Roche family. Um, he was very involved in music boosters. Um, Taking away to young. Thoughts and prayers to your family and to all the other people that in town that have since passed. Um, Happy New Year, and may things be on a brighter note, and uh, hopefully 22 will bring a lot of interesting turnouts. Thank you. Mr. Farnell? Yeah, I just want to take a moment, uh, first of all, to say thank you very much, Doug, and it's a pleasure to work with you. Uh, you're a gentleman, you're a scholar, and you care. And you put that, you put those together, and, and that's a winning combination. And uh, I, I think uh, we've all said that in different ways here, but I, I want to say it because it's, it's, it's that important to 
would say in my, in my mind. So thank you for that, and um, I look forward to working with you uh, on many other projects in the future. So thanks so much for that opportunity. Um, and I want to just say this. In the spirit of the holidays here, I think it's whenever possible um, to recognize how important teachers are. And I think teachers need fuel like they've never needed it before in this time. Teachers, principals, and probably the best thing that we can all do is when we see a teacher, talk to a teacher, say thank you, and appreciate their work for what it is because it's that important. It affects uh, the world in many ways. It affects our community. And right now, I think the best gift that we can give to anyone that we need who teaches is to say thank you and we support you. And with that, I'm going to say happy holidays to my colleagues up here and to everyone in the community. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Fernando. Uh, that's it. My turn. So, um, <clears throat> my last meeting, and um, it's been nothing but an honor to be able to serve on this, uh, on this board. I've learned something from every single one of you up here on this board. Together, we've accomplished so many great things. I was sitting back and I was reflecting a little bit um, over the weekend, and you know, six years, it goes by like a blink of an eye, but when you go back and you think about it, like it's a really long period of time. And the amount of things that together we've accomplished in this school district over the last six years, are astronomical. This this board and all the you know the members of previous boards, we should all be so darn proud. You know, when you go back and you look six years ago at this district, we couldn't keep central administration. We had a revolving door of superintendents. Now we've got a world-class superintendent leading the district with good stability excellent leadership and just a tenacity to make sure that South Plainfield is the best school district that it can possibly be. And Noreen, thank you so much for doing that. Okay? Um, the financial situation in the school um, needed serious improvement six years ago. If we go back now and we look at it, the school district has never been more financially sound than it's, than it's ever been as far as I'm aware. And uh, yeah, I did have some ideas along the way, um, but I got to give a lot of credit to Mr. D'Amato. Uh, Jim, a hell of a man. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he was the interim business administrator at Dr. Lishak Broyland. Man, he's smart. And he taught me so much, so much stuff. And when we would get down, <clears throat> we would have some conversations I remember one of the conversations we had about uh, doing, the, structuring the financing for the referendum. And Tom, I'm pretty sure you were in that meeting, right? And it was fun, right? Jim and I were having you know, conversations going back and forth, and I was talking about debt, debt issuance, and underwriting, and all that stuff. And we got done with the meeting, and Tom was like, I have no idea what the two of you guys just said. <laughs> that would sounded pretty good, right? And uh, he taught me so much about uh, bond issuing for uh, for school districts and for municipalities and, and everything else that he taught me, you know, along the way. I can't I can't thank Jim enough, and uh, I've said it to him personally. And, you know, I want to say you know here to to everybody as well. Um, Mary <clears throat> has taught me so much about curriculum. Mary, I really appreciate everything. Uh, taking my telephone calls, you know, you know, spending time explaining something to me. I really, really, you know, appreciate that. Um, Amy, thanks for everything that you've done. Always there to help me. I got questions, stupid questions. Where do I sign? What do I do? You always had the answers and uh, made it easy for me to drop stuff off at my house rather than making me go into the administration building. You could probably count on one hand how many times I was in the administration building if it wasn't a, uh, a committee meeting. I didn't think I belonged there, um, so I, I didn't go. Uh, Alex, thanks, man. You worked so hard. You. Uh, uh, I'll let everybody know, you know, I, the audit's done. There's no findings. Again, no findings again. When I came on board, the first audit, 13 deficiencies. 13 deficiencies in the audit. Never saw such a thing. Now we have zero. Great job, man. Thank you. 
uh, and Marat as well. You know, I know Marat does a great job over there too. Uh, Tom Wiggins, man, you got this school district looking great. Six years ago, it did not look this good. Okay, and now we've got you, you know, somebody we can turn to anytime. Pick up the phone, it's, you know, and it could be something silly, you know, you could say to Noreen, hey, Noreen, you know, there's, there's a loop missing off the basketball net behind, you know, behind Kennedy School. Uh, I'll tell Tom. Tom, Noreen, uh, Tom, 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 right over, you know, it's, it's just unbelievable. What your dedication to the district, it, it shows, and it's really greatly appreciated. Um, thank you. <coughs> Teresa. Uh, Noreen's uh, secretary is uh, is aces. You know, I could call Teresa. It's funny, you know, Teresa, I'll see my phone ring, which is school number. And I was always bust her when, uh, when I would answer the phone. She goes, the boss wants to know if you're available. I said, well then, you know what I'm going to tell you, Teresa? Hang up, call my office the direct line, let my secretary answer the phone, and then you guys can hook the two of us up together. If Noreen has to have you, <laughs> give me a call. We used to chuckle about it. But uh, Teresa's awesome. Uh, and everybody else in the central you know, administration building, the risk you run when you start naming people is that you're going to leave somebody out. And I, and I don't, you know, don't want to leave anybody out, but you know, everybody there does a, uh, does a fantastic, fantastic job. I really, really appreciate it. Um, the teachers, you know, it was funny. For some reason or another, uh, when I first got on the board, uh, somebody, and I know who it is, uh, started a rumor around the teachers that Chapman doesn't like the teachers. And I was like, oh really? That's interesting. And uh, you know, and then they would start rumors and they would say lies about other things as well. And it reminded me of the saying that my grandmother told me once. She said, you know, people are going to start to make stuff up about you as soon as you start to figure out the truth about them. They're going to panic. Start to, as soon as you start to figure out the truth about them, they're going to make, a lot, make up lies about you. And it happened. So, uh, which is Terrible. My level of respect and appreciation uh, for these teachers in this district has never been anything but uh, stellar. And um, I think that was pretty much proven in our negotiations with our last contract. We got we got it done in two meetings. Never been done before. Two meetings. And that's only because we completely appreciate everything that the teachers do and wanted to show them the respect that, in my opinion, they they deserved. So that's why we did that. Principals, same thing. Two meetings, new contract. Five-year contract with the principals. Uh, it was awesome. So that was, uh, you know, that's something that I'm very proud of as well. The other thing I want to say to all our board members up here, and to, you know, the public, if anybody watches this video, aside from you guys here, is that we're all up here. We might not like each other, okay? Um, but everybody up here is up here for one purpose only, and that's to get our kids in this district the best quality education. This board is always together on things that we vote on and we, and we, and we decide what we want to do. It's not like other boards that we see. We all have the same common goal. And one thing that annoys me sometimes is, is each year at election time, when you, uh, this year we had four people out of how many people are in this town? Anybody know? How many? 25,000. How many? 25,000. 25,000 people in this town. Four of us wanted to be on the Board of Education. Four. Yet they'll turn around and they'll criticize us and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll throw stones and, you know, say, say, say things they want to say. But the reality of the situation, four of us wanted to be on the board and three of us were already on the board, right? Devon, you're 20 years old, right? Am I correct? Man, do I respect you. You want to get involved and you want to get up here, you know, you, you did a great job. You got out there and hustled. I told you this already. You know that. I sent you messages, you know, in person. Um, congratulations. You know, you got, you got a lot to learn, you know, and you're going to be put in a tough spot. And you're going to have to, people are going to expect you to do things that you're not going to be able to do. Be prepared, okay? That's, that's you know, that's just my advice to you. And I know you're going to do a great job. I've told you that now, and I really firmly believe that. And congratulations on winning the election. Um, so, you know, what is the what is the future hold? People have asked me, are you going to run again? I'm going to tell you right now, I honestly have no idea. Um, I do believe in uh, civic obligations for, uh, for your community. Before I came here for 10 years, 
I was uh, an advocate for children in the foster care system, for the rights in the foster care system. I served as the president of the uh, Court Appointed Special Advocates of Union County for uh, four years prior to uh, coming here. I was a sworn in advocate, and uh, so was my wife uh, for 10 years. We did that. Uh, then I came here. Prior to that, did a lot of stuff with um, handicapped children. Uh, used to help kids with Down syndrome and uh, cerebral palsy exercise and work out. And that was probably the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. You know, we'll see what happens. What's you know, what's next? But uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here for six years. I hope I made you proud. I tried really hard. I did uh, did the best I could. And uh, I appreciate, in a different way, each and every one of you up here, because you've definitely helped me and you've made me a better person. So uh, thank you very much. Can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Anybody opposed? Meeting adjourned.